Hello there YouTube, I'm Wheelchair21 and on today's rolling review we are finally getting a chance to look at Ultraman Geed, the Deluxe Ultra Zero I Neo which comes with the Beta and Alpha New Generations capsules to allow Ultraman Zero to become Ultraman Zero beyond this awesome silver and royal purple form. Now the box is pretty freaking small, it's probably one of the smallest deluxe roleplay toys boxes I've ever owned as of to date. It's pretty awesome. I really like the really sleek and nice design. I really like a lot of the box art. It's really nice. It's really cool and really in-depth. And on the back, it has actually your instructions. Because when you open this up, it doesn't come with an instruction manual for once. It's pretty much its own instructions. It's simple and easy to follow through steps. Now here we have the Ultra Zero Eye Neo out of the package with both of its Ultra Capsules. We have Ginga and Orb Origin in the Alpha, and in the Beta, we have Victory and X. Now, the crazy thing about it is, you would think Ginga and Victory should be in their own capsule, where X and Orb should be together. However, because the capsules feature the sounds for Orb and X, that's the key reason why they're paired like this, because Ginga and Victory didn't have, like, elongated jingles to go with them like X or Orb did. Now, their lights are a fusion of two different colors, white and blue, yellow and green. However, when using it with the Geed Riser, you're not going to get those specific colors exactly. Like, you're not going to get a fusion. You're going to get one of this color and one of this color, and then you're going to get your sounds. And individually, they make really interesting sounds. However, to get the right sounds, you need to use them with your Ultra Zero I Neo. Now, let's look at this freaking sexy beast. Now, unlike the original version, which could turn into a gun, this one is just like the base glasses. This is just the base visor pretty much trying to be a resemblance to Ultra 7's. Now, Zero's is a little bit more flashier. It has like a weird, almost like lifelike bat entity, crystal entity, almost like his actual torso and chest almost fused into the actual visor to make these sunglasses. It has a beautiful silver metallic finish with red accents, blue accents, and the emerald green piece here to, I would guess, signify his beam lantern and color timer, and the nice clear plastic yellow here to put your eyes through to emulate the henshin sequence. Now, on the back, we have a, I wouldn't say clear, but a regular matte, like, gray finish to it. And I already have it on due to a previous take. So let's turn it off. Turn it on. As one can hear, it does make a sound when activating and turning on. And when making its own individual sounds, there are only two. So let's go through them right now before we go into our actual capsules. Alright, as you can hear, it is the Henshin and his quote of saying, I am Zero, Ultraman Zero. And honestly, the easy thing about the thing, or I should say with the Zero Eye Neo, is you actually don't need to really leave it on when attaching it to your Geed Riser, because it makes the sounds of connecting here and here, and point pegging into a piece on the Geed Riser's like white little knobs, so that's actually an interesting way to save the battery. But let's go into our capsules at hand.
All right, after cycling through all of the sounds that you can make with the new generation Heroes capsules and the Ultra Zero Eye Neo, and with it attached to the Geed Riser, let's talk about the final evaluation for this thing. If one got this separate from the Geed Riser, that's probably because you got the Geed Riser right at its launch, or way before this was announced, or this went up for pre-order, or this went up for order in general. Whereas those who got it in a gift set were probably better off. You got everything that came with the Geed Riser, you got everything that came in this individual release, and you were set for life, especially due to the fact that the gift sets have stayed in stock at a few stores better than the individual leases for these items. Now, though, I gotta say, it doesn't really matter if you got them separately unless you're paying full retail price for it in Japan, because then you're spending way more than I did. I got both of these at, like, say, AmiAmi Ami and Hobby Link Japan with this partial discount and the better shipping. You got it right under even with what the Japanese market pays for this without shipping, with just going to their stores and paying regular tax, and so on and so forth. However, if you're still needing this, go to CS Toys Japan. I think they still have, like, eight of these left, and they even have, I think, one of the gift sets left in stock at the time of which I checked this. I could be wrong with the numbers, but I'm just assuming from what I recall, which was, like, a couple of days ago, so, like, three days ago. Nevertheless, though, I'm glad I finally got one of these, because the original version, I've gotten to play with it, it's a little bit more narrow, it's a little bit more streamlined, just because it folds into being a collapsible, like, kind of gun, like, taser kind of weapon. And you don't really get a full, like, look through the eyes to recreate the henchman. Whereas this one is a bit bolder and more of a masquerade-esque kind of mask. And I like this style a lot more than the original, because you at least get to see through it. It just loses the playability of being a gun, and all it does is have a few basic sounds. Now, the P-Bandai exclusive version of it will have audio featuring Zero, and Raito, which makes me a little bit miffed, but I might get it in the future if I ever see it on clearance at secondary markets. Nevertheless, whether you get it individually or in a gift set, it's great, especially if you're an Ultraman Zero fan, or if you just want to complete the actual sounds in your freaking Geed Riser. I almost said Ultra Zero I Neo Riser, but nevertheless, I do heavily recommend it. It is for the diehard Zero fans, it is for the diehard Geed fans, it's just for the diehard Ultraman fans in general and no one's gonna hate on it. Anyways, I'm Wilter21, and if you like this video and this review, please leave a like and subscribe if you already haven't, as well as follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you all next time with the next rolling review and or Doyle's DVDs.